find if you're working very diligently on some of our community funds. Uh, we are hopeful to have to wrap that up right in the fourth quarter of the We also are working on the way this year on the second quarter. Okay, I think we're we'll getting a little far afield. My question is relative to the Hollywood plan. It seems to me the city attorney has recommended that we tighten the screws in terms of the environmental impact. Okay, and, and my question, therefore, is would, if we did this on every community plan, as suggested by the city attorney, would that not take us longer? Can we have a city plan? We've been working with our city family to make sure that we can find this later. Uh, any of our response to comments, certainly each and every is unique and different. Depending on the level of responses we received, we did want to prepare additional responses, which has um, given us some additional work to do on our summit to complete that work. But each EIR yeah, is a little bit different. We do circulate a draft in the community with some responses. We did, as I think we've learned today, we have a high level of response in Hollywood. We have a lot of valid input, and that's been driving our time on this. But I think we have been able to move forward on the Okay, that's not my, that wasn't my question. But I'll trust my memory. Thank you very much, Ralph. Well, before I call on Mr. Weezer, please welcome the 93rd Street Elementary School, the Council Chambers, the Bank Hall. Thank you. Welcome, students. And uh, to follow up on Mr. Hollicum's questions, um, yes, uh, having our community plans moving forward was a concern of mine during the budget process. And I was alerted that we don't have enough funding in there to move forward after and if this Hollywood plan is adopted. The fact of the matter is that we are way behind uh, in adopting our community plans. And we don't have the staff in the planning department to do it. During the budget process, I was told that it would take two additional uh, planners that would that should be funded, that should be funded, uh, that person to move forward. I had a meeting two weeks ago with Steve over at CLA and the planning department to see how we could uh, get some funding to move them forward. It would cost anywhere in the range of uh, about two hundred thousand dollars to the planning department and Mr. Riz and Mr. Record in the budget. I think they would they would come up with some uh, creative means to get the funding to move forward. So what are the most basic things of the city? You know, we get public safety, we have to make sure uh, their streets are clean, and, but not to plan the future is something that we shouldn't fall behind it because uh, these things are a missing opportunity about how we plan our growth to occur and how we plan for that growth. And a lot of these things have been uh, waiting for a very long time to take a look at the solution of the plan. Thank you, everyone, for patience today. I'm very humble to have a couple of people here and there. Uh, the comments on both sides, even folks who oppose us before today, who gave uh, compliments to our city planners for uh, listening and changing things. Uh, as we said, it's all good except for a piece. Um, and those on the pro side, I'm sure there's some things that an ideal world would be like, tweaked a little bit more in the other direction or not. But we certainly can't let 